And these things, again, super free, super accessible. You really don't need anything for them. They're there for you at any time. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Connor. And I'm Brittany. And you're watching thrivingminimalist.com. If you didn't already know, Brittany and I have a channel on inspiring authentic relationships that you can check out. And uh, we really love the channel and I thought I'd have you on today and we could talk a little bit about minimalism and dating and how to have like the best dating experiences that you can have and also to have them be free. Yeah, how you can do this and also still be a badass minimalist without compromising your lifestyle. And it's not all about like saving money and being frugal and all this stuff, but actually what we found is Oftentimes, uh, when you take the money out of the equation or you take the structure, maybe, maybe the like perceived idea of how a date like should right, be structured. Is supposed to be that you often open up to getting into the heart of the matter. You get closer to someone faster. You get into the things that you really want to be doing. And I think that's really running side by side the theme of minimalism where we're kind of like removing the things from our lives that are just kind of taking away from what we really want to be doing, what we really want to be feeling. Yeah, so we can get in touch with more of our authentic selves. And when we mm. connect from that place, I think we have much more potent relationships much faster. I love that. So we're going to give you three basic general ideas for dating as a minimalist. The first one is movement. I love moving. And I love moving with someone else. Yeah, I love sharing movement. I think that we all love sharing some type of movement. And I think that this is a fun place to get creative and tap into the type of movement that you enjoy mm. and that the person or people you're connecting with enjoy. Yeah, I guess sometimes when we might say movement, you might think like exercise. And that's not what we're talking about. We're really talking about play. Yeah. Just play and like we're, we're all kids at heart. I mean, we really are and we all love playing. And when you watch little kids like connecting and having fun, they'll just walk right up to each other and say, you want to play? Do you want to play? <laughs> And we can do that when we go on dates. We can actually introduce a date just in that way. I mean, can you imagine someone walking up to you, you know, that you're like attracted to and excited about and they just say, do you want to play with me? Do you want to play? I actually, we do this. <laughs> we do and that I love time. like asking people out like, hey, you want to play together on Friday? <laughs> so Brittany and I, um, we love partner acrobatics. Some people yeah. refer to it as acro yoga, but it's really just like coming together and using our bodies with like touch, balance, coordination, strength. And play. And play. And there's like so much that we love about that space. We also really love dance together. Yeah, we love dancing freely together. And we also love going to ecstatic dance. We do that on Sundays. Mm. And, and that's such a great place to link up with each other, with other people, and to tap into ourselves. But movement could be, like we said, anything that really calls to you. If that's you know, throwing a frisbee or kicking a ball around, mm. taking a walk, doing a yoga class, like whatever it is that you feel like you can really tap into yourself and be more of yourself doing, it's such a nice place to share with somebody else because you're already going to be on that other level, that more comfortable space where you feel like you are accessing yourself mm. to share. Yeah, and these activities, you know, the beautiful thing about these is like you really don't need anything else. Like, yeah, maybe you need a frisbee or maybe you need a soccer ball, but those are really simple things to obtain. And they're also, most of these things we're talking about are totally free. Uh, you know, for instance, if you were just getting into acrobatics, there's a ton of videos online that you can look at and check out and just play around with uh, this new kind of movement if you've never done it before. Number two is nature. What can you do with it? What can't you do with nature? I feel like when I go into the woods with someone I love, the love that I feel is like so pure and it's enhanced and it just, I guess it takes away the clutter, you know, of, of kind of like, or the distraction of the outside world and nature allows me to feel more in tuned and, and just kind of present. And so when I go there with someone I love, it feels like, it feels really enhanced. Yeah, I definitely find nature to be super grounding. feels really important to me to access it regularly, and I love sharing that space with somebody I love or somebody I'm just getting to know. Mm. I think it helps us be more present, like you said, and mm -hmm. there's so much to appreciate there. 
that you don't really need to have something specific set up. It's just like, yeah, let's go for a hike or... Yeah, let's, let's go, like, have a picnic. Yeah, or let's go down to this creek. Or the other day, like, we, we went on this kind of, like... It was kind of like a date with our friend. And yeah. she uh, foraged some raspberry leaves, and we sat down, and she actually had this little portable stove that she brought. Really little teeny cute thing. And she made us tea. And, like, that was such a beautiful space. I love it. And you know, if you don't have maybe woods or a forest around you, there are always things like there's um, generally there's park walks. systems. Yeah. yeah, there's city walks. There's even just a tree. Like you can just find a beautiful tree and climb a tree with someone. When we when we ask people to share space, we often ask them like, "Hey, do you want to go for a walk or do you yeah. want to go for a hike?" And it feels like a really relaxed way to start linking up with somebody. Yes, it feels safe and like you know you can always. Um, close up a walk and you can always, always like continue it so yeah. there's no like set time or structure and these things again super free super accessible you really don't need anything for them they're there for you at any time and there's a lot that you can do with that one space it's different than maybe like going to a movie where you're going to a movie for a set amount of time you're sitting in a seat for a set you know in a set amount of way like when you choose these nature-based activities or these activities that you have more control over, that's just what it is. You, you can just let it flow and you can allow your heart to kind of guide how it unfolds. The third is free events. Free events, they're happening all over the place, like all the time. They are, oftentimes when we'll be checking out a new area, I like to just Google, you know, like free events in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. And there is no shortage of awesome things to do. There's like always, music and mm -hmm. another one is like movies in the park or movies yeah. on the beach yeah there's also like free movement you know things like yoga or like dance or like this or that yeah you know the other day like in austin we were just i can't quite remember what we were doing but we were just kind of chilling and we decided like hey i wonder if that that show is still happening that we had yeah. happened to see and it was this beautiful show of mm. this like aerial silks plus like dance and movement and yeah. roller skates were involved it was just gorgeous and the cool thing about it is you could pay and to go inside. there you could pay a bunch of money to kind of be there and sit in a chair and have a brochure and all that stuff and there's nothing wrong with that but what we did is we just we went to the side and you could watch it uh from outside of this fence and it was actually more intimate and more like it was what I wanted at that moment in time. And that's what I really like about free events and deciding these things, you know, as you go, is that you can be spontaneous in the moment, create it the way you want to create it. And then we stayed for like 20 minutes and when we were done, we were done. And that was perfect. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I think Googling is a great way to find events like this. There's also like meetup.com mm -hmm. or checking out Facebook and they're all over the place. It's They're a really all great over the place. way to get involved. And one thing this makes me think about is just like the atmosphere that mm -hmm. you want to create and that you want to be in. I love thinking about what kind of mood I'm in, what I want. Like sometimes we want to be in nature. Sometimes we want to be interacting with a lot of people. Right. Sometimes I want to be in a cozy little space. And we often think about like what coffee shop do we want to work at or mm. this or that. And we'll base it on what mood we're in. Like, do we want to sit at a table and get things done? Or do we want to curl up in a chair? Do we want a warm beverage? And a date is really, especially like first dates, you know, and getting to know somebody new, it's a great time to set yourself up in a comfortable place where you feel like you can be relaxed mm. and yourself because that's what we're looking for is to to be ourselves and to connect authentically with another human who who will also feel relaxed and be able to be themselves yes i love that yeah and, and you know like we have we are creators we have the opportunity at every moment to create what we want and when it comes to dates like i know for myself and i feel like for you too we 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 want to create a space that allows us to connect as deeply as possible, as quickly as possible, in a way that's fun, and kind of allow whatever is in our hearts at that moment to come out, connect with whatever is, is in someone else's heart in that moment to come out and, and just like blend together and meld and create a beautiful dance. And that's really what the date is about, you yeah. know? It's not so much about like, well, what are we going to do on our date? Right. And I feel like sometimes, 
the structure that we've created actually takes away from what we're really looking for, which is connection. that kind of connection, that heart to heart connection. And, you know, as we are feeling more comfortable with people or, you know, wherever you feel like you are with somebody, something else we like to do is maybe have like cuddle dates or massage dates right. and, and being able just to voice that, you mm, know, with somebody like, that. hey, do you want to meet up and cuddle or mm -hmm. you want to meet up and I'd love to give you a massage and feeling like you can ask for what you want mm. that feels comfortable within your dynamic with any given person. Yes. It's also empowering. I feel like we skip a lot of the bullshit that can kind of come up with a lot of dates like do you want to get dressed up and go to this whatever restaurant or right. to see a movie or like places that don't actually allow for maximum connection or the kind of connection mm. we want like a lot of times when I want to link up with somebody it's because like I want to touch their body or like I want to have an in-depth conversation so I want to set that up yes totally agree with you I mean this is again like it's all about really focusing on the things that we want and and I think not being afraid to to have that focus, to hold that intention, and um, and just keep keep getting closer with really what we want for this life. Like what's really in there that we're looking for when we go on a date. I want to mention two related items at the end of this video. Um, the first one is Fruit Winter Fest. It's a festival that Brittany and I put on every year in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This year it is January 12th to the 20th. It's a donation-based festival where you know, it's kind of like a bunch of people are coming together for a first date, you know? And we like have this kind of like chill structure set up uh, where you can come and kind of have this like first date experience with a whole bunch of people in this beautiful community. And when I say it's, it's like a first date, what I mean is that it's a lot of people getting together from a heart space looking to connect with other people from a hard space. And we also run a private retreat alongside of that for about 35 people if you want to dive in deeper and we have some more activities to help facilitate that. So if you are interested in it, check out fruitwinterfest.com. We totally love this event and would love we really to have love you there. It. Yeah, and we would love to have you. The other thing I want to mention is a program that Brittany and I created you can learn all about it at connorandbrittany.com, um, but essentially it's a program to help you delve deeper in your relationships. Yes, we call it Creating Epic Relationships, and we've really designed it for any type of relationship you're looking to yes. have. And you can do it on your own, you can do it with a partner or partners, and we really believe in it. We believe in ourselves. We have invested a lot of time into developing ourselves mm. and our relationships, and we feel super eager and excited to share it with you. You can use this uh, discount code for $20 off. And finally, if you haven't already checked out our YouTube together, it's something that is so close to my heart and I just love creating with you so very much. So if you're interested in hearing more about our actual relationship, you know, like what does that look like? And also maybe want to um, learn more about your relationships in your life. Like that's really what we're trying to do on our channel. You can check it out. It's Connor and Brittany. I'll put all of this stuff in the description box and also have links on this video. So yeah, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. It's, yeah. it's great to be on your channel. I love continuing to, to have first dates with you. It's me too. <laughs> I'm so into it. I love you. I love you. I love, love you, you guys. guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. I love it. I love you. I love you too. Okay.